welcome back everybody i tell you sometimes i question why i make videos it just adds a whole other layer of complication that sometimes i just want to get a project done and it's already not going my way or i wouldn't do it at all except we have to shoot film that's what we did today no doubt it feels pretty good to have this mountain of leaves and grass clippings right here next to me feels good to get it done but there was a lot of pitfalls a lot of challenges a lot of mistakes that you could avoid if you weren't trying to film this and put it on YouTube. Hey, and after you watch this video, if you do enjoy it, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you. Have something to add, leave a comment down below. Subscribe to see more tractor videos, and if you want something for your tractor, check out goodworkstractors.com. All right, so it is mid-November, and normally I would have started my leaf cleanup process by now, but it's been a very warm fall, so it took a while longer for the leaves to start falling. And once I get into the heart of leaf removal, one of the things I like to do is use a backpack blower to get the leaves out of the landscaping, off the driveway, away from the house, anywhere that is challenging challenging for a tractor to get into or just to make my life easier. Plus around those edges is where you oftentimes have to do a lot of turning and with the ground being as soft and wet as it typically is this time of year, it's easy to cause damage with your tractor. So blowing everything out into more open areas just really minimizes the amount of turns I have to take. I can just go back and forth in straight lines. For those of you that are curious, I am using a steel backpack blower. I think I've had it for two or three years now. So I remember not really needing a new backpack blower, but my Echo that I had had worked great for me for probably 15 years or so. I really like the idea, the concept of the pull cord without having to take it off your back because I, I turn a backpack blower on and off frequently. And so having that feature there to be able to just pull it without having to take it right off of your back is pretty convenient. It's increased my efficiency, but the blowing power for that particular blower is superior. There's nothing better on the market. To this day, I still don't think there's a more powerful unit available. Now this video is really meant to feature and highlight the Protero dump from the seat material collection system. You're gonna see it paired with a John Deere 1025R tractor, but they're gonna make these to fit all sorts of category one three-point hitches, runs off of the 540 RPM rear PTO. They'll have a boot that's custom fit to match your mower deck, includes a chute and everything else. It also includes a parking stand that is removable so that when you're using it, it's not gonna hang down low and drag on the ground, but easy just to pin on in place so you can move it around your garage. So this is a dump from the seat system. That means there's gonna be a handle that you can just lean on and pull and release and open up the hopper. If you've used bags in the past, I've used a lot of the John Deere systems that have the individual bags. Man, I tell you, once you have grass clippings like we had a lot of today and wet material, those bags get really heavy. They are a pain to maneuver. Don't get me wrong, it's a lot easier than doing everything by hand, but having a dump from the seat option is a real game changer. Now, a little bit about the sacrifices that we make. You know, Chris and I, we make to get these YouTube videos out. This was not an ideal morning to mow our lawn, to do the leaf cleanup. In fact, it was probably one of the worst mornings. Most of the day yesterday, it rained, okay? And so it saturated the ground, and it's not exactly warm out. It's in the 40s right now, so there's no evaporation going on. There's no heat to help that, that moisture dissipate. And so the moisture's in the ground, it's in the grass, it's on the leaves. On top of that, I haven't mowed for like three weeks. <laughs> and so the grass is long because it's continued to grow. The leaves have really piled up and accumulated, so it made for some pretty poor conditions. So as you'll see throughout this video, we had a lot of clogs, a lot of stoppages where you can tell, right? Because you see a bunch of chopped up material just kind of in a trail and it's kind of kicking out from under the, the front of the mower deck because there's nowhere for that material to go. It wants to go out the discharge chute and go up into the hopper, but it can't because it's clogged up. You know, it was wishful thinking to, to think that wasn't gonna happen to me today. And boy, did it happen a frustrating amount of times. I don't know, it was close to 10 times I think we had to unclog the chute, which in and of itself, it really isn't that big of a deal. It takes a minute, maybe a minute and a half to, to do that, to, to loosen it up, empty it out, clear it out, put it back together and get back on the tractor. However, this was the only opportunity that we had to shoot video we had to get it done. So we worked with what we had. If we weren't shooting video, I would have waited until this afternoon. Things would have dried out quite a bit more. We had a lot of sunshine, it's, it's cloud cover now, but the temps will warm up a little bit. You know, I wouldn't be blowing all those wet leaves into a pile where they're just gonna stay wet and not have a chance to dry out. It would have been the smart thing to do, except we wanted to get a video out for you. So Patero is gonna be part of the GWT Discount Club, all right? So that means you're gonna order it right from Patero's website. You talk to Bob up there, get you set up with what you need to fit your tractor. Could be your zero turn as well, or your garden tractor even. So the best part about it is you're gonna save 5% using code GWT. So 
all these vendors. If you buy online on their website, enter code GWT there. But if you talk to them over the phone, just mention GWT, you get your discount. There's always a couple things that bug me when I'm doing leaf cleanup. The first one is the exhaust that's down here on the 1025. When you're going along, it's gonna, if this is the clean side over here, this exhaust is just gonna kick some leaves out over here constantly, and that drives me absolutely nuts. However, as you can see, there's already leaves that are back all over the lawn anyway, because they just keep falling, right? So you feel like you're doing work, and when you get done, you almost wanna start right back over again. It's, it's very annoying for me. But if you get into a habit, you know, just every one, two weeks over the course of the fall, you're gonna stay on top of it. You're not gonna get yourself into a really nasty situation like what I had today. We were cutting off two or three inches of grass on top of all these wet leaves. It was just a lot to handle. But man, I tell you, you know, I mean, I grew up, Chris and I did, raking the yard. When I got my first house, I was raking it by hand, right? Eventually, it was a great upgrade to get a backpack blower. But I've had a bagger for, I don't know, the last five, six, seven years, something like that, and I can't imagine ever going back to not having one. A backpack blower was a game changer. I remember getting one and thinking, man, this makes life easy. But getting a bagger, like a dump from the seat especially, even when it clogs, it's such a time saver. It allows you to get out there every week, every other week, just get it done easily. Man, it's something that's no longer a huge all-day chore that you have to worry about. So, you know, you're going to see our struggles, which is okay, right? Things don't go perfectly all the time. But even with all that said, this is a three-quarter acre lot. Filming and everything involved with all the setup and moving around, battery changes and everything else, it only took us two, maybe two and a half hours, including all those clogs. I mean, that's really not that bad. Oh, and I do want to point out again, these weights on the front, counterweight, because most of the time we think about counterweight on the back side of the tractor, but as this hopper fills up with all that debris, the wet leaves, the wet grass clippings, this counterweight on the front becomes critical because it would get really light. And this is how you steer with these front two tires. So if you don't have firm tires and firm traction up front, you're just gonna be out of control. Now, especially when you're on an incline, a hill of some kind, sort of like my front yard, it's nice to have this extra ballast weight keeping you planted to the ground. Anyway, I think it's still a satisfying experience to see it go from completely leaf covered and kind of out of control to uh, getting cleaned up a little bit. So I hope you enjoy it. Chris, cue up the music.
try to keep it real so we don't just show the things that go perfectly smooth. It's real life, right? Tractors are amazing tools, and yeah, there's still some challenges that come along with it, but the efficiency of it overall is just a complete game changer. I'm so thankful that we're living in the day and age that we do. So if you enjoyed what you saw, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you. Do leave a comment if you want to join the conversation. Subscribe to see more tractor videos, and check out goodworkstractors.com if you want something for your tractor. Thanks for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.